So my name is Andrew. I'm going to be bringing you back. Okay. We're going to be going over the screening form first. Yep. My my husband is um he, he is my hero and my happiness. Uh, we're going to celebrate our 17th anniversary tomorrow. Anytime I'm really scared about something, he's definitely the first person I go to. As a career firefighter paramedic, you're you're always the one helping somebody. Now I was on the other side of it. I discovered the lump when I was shaving. I would tighten my face up and shave up with the razor, and it felt almost as if there was a little pee under my skin. I kind of kept it to myself for, for about a week. I approached my wife with it, who's a nurse practitioner. She started doing a little reading, felt it, and she said, we need to get this looked at sooner rather than later. But as soon as I felt it, I, there was no doubt in my mind that he had cancer. Still doing okay in there? All right, you've got about 10 minutes left. This next one's gonna be a little bit louder and might shake the table a little bit, but that's perfectly normal. Okay. All right, doing a great job, just keep holding still. I found Dr. Isley uh, just by doing a fairly comprehensive uh, search of the literature, and his name kept appearing um, as an author of various and sundry uh, research articles. There was no doubt that there was no one in Connecticut that I felt had the experience um, that I was looking for for my husband. And, you know, Maryland, while it's a bit of a, a trip if by ground, it's one hour by air. Uh, Mr. Gonzalez, when he came down from Connecticut, he had uh, noticed about two months prior to his visit a mass. And over that period of time, uh, this mass had grown and become firmer and had become less mobile uh, in character. And he and his wife were very appropriately concerned about this. Subconsciously, you, you want to think anything else but cancer. Dr. Isley actually uttered the word, I'm very sorry, I don't have good news for you. Um, that was, you know, Heart stopping. Mr. Gonzalez's diagnosis ultimately proved to be a, a cancer of the, of the parotid salivary gland. We recommend a primary surgical approach, and that is uh, what we call a parotidectomy. A parotidectomy uh, is a removal of part or all of the parotid salivary gland. The biggest thing in my mind was I was looking for somebody who had experience in protecting um, the cranial nerves of the face. And, and then obviously, of course, I wanted somebody who was expert in cancer care that would be able to get all of the tumor and that we would not be faced with a reoccurrence or a spread um, if it were humanly possible. The, the parotid gland is fairly unique in that it has a major and very important nerve, the facial nerve, coursing directly through it. We presented his case at our weekly multidisciplinary head and neck tumor conference. We basically came up with a uh, recommendation for him uh, for primary surgery. I was really nervous about going through the process of surgery. And, and, and really, when you go in for surgery, you have no control. And that's one of the few times in my life that I've not had any control. Well, at the time of uh, Jay's surgery, was, we were quite pleased to be able to determine that the tumor was well away from the facial nerve, and we were able to preserve the facial nerve in its entirety. Uh, we were able to remove the tumor in its entirety, and uh, the final pathology, fortunately, uh, came back as a low-grade mucopidermoid carcinoma. This is probably one of the most favorable diagnoses uh, that could have been rendered. So the good news is uh, today we reviewed the results of your MI that you had today, and the preliminary interpretation is it all looks good. He's now over two years out from, from the surgery, and I anticipate he will continue to do quite well. And, where we're extremely optimistic. Today, you get to think about watching your, your daughter grow up and watching her and play basketball and all the things that's gonna happen with her and spending my life with my wife and my family.